where are we at? We're at Eddie's with Audrey, who lives here now. Hey! <laughs> We're gonna check out the, the yard. We're gonna check out this beautiful dwelling. Check out those solar panels. Oh my gosh! Wow! Eddie, this is crazy! Yay! Yay. Say your friend from... This is Audrey. Hi, Audrey. This is my best friend from Tacoma. She just moved here. Yeah. How long have you been living here? Um, kind of, kind of forever almost. <laughs> yeah, I rent from my mom. So, we had a house, but we sold it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've been... I built this. This is the one I built. God! Oh, awesome. I had never, there was no YouTube back then. And Big. Then, <laughs> yeah. I used to stop at construction sites and take pictures with a camera. Come home and try to figure it out. And then just try to do it. Yeah. They were, wow. they were a little late with YouTube. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, a, a, a contractor would know, would notice all of the stuff that I didn't do. Yeah. Did you grow up, did you grow up here though? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Born in Okay. But I lived in um, I lived in Washington for a long time. I worked oh. on, I worked on the hill in Monroe. That's how you um, get up Stevens Pass. Yeah. yeah. On Highway Two. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, the home is Skykomish area. Yeah, yeah Skykomish. What are you what working on? Yeah. What are you doing? I was trying to um, just getting the car ready for the trip. I had this uh, the bucket list, a 40 year old bucket list, and I I'm 61 now. I was 19, 19 20 when I came up. I took my first cross country trip, New York to Seattle. Oh, wow. But I fell in love with three ways, and then um, I've been wanting to do one, 49 states in one trip. And it took me this long. I just quit my job last week. Good but for I you. Right? So right now I'm just, um, my friends think I'm crazy, but I've yanked out the seats. The best ideas are crazy. And then um, I'm going to, I was going to keep this in, but I'm going to pull it out and my friend's going to weld a different platform to put a plywood on top. Yeah. Put a plywood back there. Yeah. And just load it up with whatever I need for six months. And obviously <laughs> this is an electric car, so you're going to do it in a Tesla. Yeah, in a Tesla. And it's yeah. um, free supercharging, so. Yeah. Okay, how do you get free supercharging? The early models are the early adopters that bought the car when nobody else wanted to buy it. Uh, Elon Musk was trying to make it worthwhile, it. so yeah, yeah, he said free supercharging for life. Wow. So I think up to I think up to a hundred thousand maybe to have free supercharging. I think so. When you look for a car, you buy a used. So what happened? Was there something that happened a week ago that you were like? Fuck this one out? Like, no. something? No, I, uh, what made you finally? You know, I had already quit once. I quit once. I was with them a while ago, and then I was there for five years. Yeah. I left to go to the um, the power company, electric company. Okay. I was there for eight years. Yeah. But I, that's the longest I've ever worked. Yeah. In one place. Yeah. I can't. I can't stay in one place. Yeah. So my wife knows every time I'm approaching the five-year mark, <laughs> she knows I'm gonna quit. Time to go. So this one was only two years, but my friends were dying. Yeah. My classmates are literally dying. Another okay. one just died last week. Wow. Same age as me, 61. Right. So I said, you know what? I just gotta that go. That wakes you up. I gotta go. Yeah. yeah. It's now or never. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people they just don't think they're. Everybody dying. thinks they're gonna have more time, right. right? Everybody thinks I'll do it later. I'll yeah. do it when I have more money saved. I'll do it when I've finished this or that. But it's like you just gotta do it now. Otherwise, yeah. you're never gonna do it. And, you know, I've been reading a couple of books about the biggest regrets of people. Uh huh. Under of the dying. No one, no one ever complains or regrets. They never say, "I wish I, w I stayed at the office longer." Yeah. No. No one. No. They say, "I wish I would have had the courage to follow my dreams yeah. and take risks and." You know? Yeah, so I'm getting it ready. So, so okay. How did you find us? That's I think it's funny. Oh, so I was um, I was trying yesterday. I was trying to figure exactly how I found you because I'm always on the internet looking for stuff. But I think I was looking. Well, I, I'm really bad with computers. Yeah. But I, I decided to. All my friends are convincing me to do a YouTube channel. And I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how. Yeah. So I was looking on the resumes. I think it yeah. was on Craigslist. And then like, yeah, I think I came across your ad. Either mm -hmm. that or I was searching sites for like people who travel. Oh, I, I, saw, I watched you your video. I was trying to watch your videos to find out where on Maui you were. The and detour sky videos? Yep. Yeah. And then you um, you mentioned how you, I, I watched how you find jobs on when you're traveling. And Solsana, you said you pronounced it Sol. How do you pronounce it at first? Sol Solasana. Solasana. Um, and then I, I wrote to Amy, the owner. Mm -hmm. 
And I, I thought, you know, who she's gonna think? Oh, who's this weirdo just tracking people <laughs> down on the internet? May have crossed then... our minds. <laughs> but then we were also like, what did you say? I, well, at first I was like, that's a little weird. But then I was like, I mean, that's something that I would do. And then it just made sense. Cause, cause what? That's something that we would totally do. Yeah. We would just reach oh, out yeah. to someone and be I, like, hey, do you want to meet? I always email people asking for like advice or help or questions. Or... Cause it's easy to find out. YouTube help online, yeah. but but they're not here on Maui, no. mm-hmm. and I don't want to ask. I'm the type of person where if if I want to be a good dentist, I go ask a good dentist. Yeah. If I want to be a good carpenter, I, I don't just ask anybody off the street who's not a dentist or carpenter. Right. So on YouTube, I wanted to do someone who was already doing YouTube, and yeah. So I, I, I had to track you down. For sure, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a cool story. So, yeah. Well, I feel like we should you should show us. Can I give us a tour? Sure. So, before we walk in, so where what's what what's point at? A? Yeah. yeah. So the first system I started was back there. Do and you want to the show one, us that first? And that's the one I kind of want to. Um, I'm going to teach people aquaponics, and so I kind of want to show them how to start. Not mm-hmm. not them. not to overwhelm them. Yeah, not to overwhelm. Yeah. Them. So this is the backyard. Nothing. No. You just gotta excuse the mess. But. So aquaponics is basically, a lot of people know hydroponics or aquaponics, they get it confused. The easy way I like to explain the difference is hydroponics is chemical water okay. and aquaponics is natural water. Um, this one, have, we don't use any chemicals, no fertilizers, no. All of the fertilizers come from fish poop, basically. Awesome. Um, whereas if you were to do hydroponics, you have to put chemicals in it. For nutrients. So I start off with a, a 300 gallon tank and a 150 gallon tank and that's all you need. Yeah I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than this. Uh, it, it has to do with water chemistry and it, it's easier to get the water right when you have bigger. a bigger so if anything goes wrong you, it, it's easier to balance the water. When you set up aquaponics one the tanks are always at different levels. So this one's a little higher than this one. Gravity takes over. The lowest point is one pump that runs the whole system. It pumps it up to the top of the gutters and comes down and it just cycles. At first I wanted to teach people when I first started. I don't like YouTube videos where people show you how to start something or how to build something, but they never follow up. You don't know if it's if it fails. If it fails. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to do it. So I've been doing it a little over two years, so now I think I can honestly say I can do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so we do watercress, lettuce, kale. Water hyacinth, chicken feet. We grow oh, this for smart. chicken. Smart. So you don't have to buy chicken food. Um, we still do buy, but um, I kind of like to give them a, a variety, variety of, of variety. Of yeah, variety of that. Because we have like 30 chickens back. There. So I All see good. like tiny little fish in here. Are yeah. they bigger fish? Yeah, those are. Um, I put I throw guppies in there to con- try to help control the mosquitoes. But, and then yeah, are there that, bigger fish in there that I can't see? I just see the little yeah, babies and, right and now. Yeah, and we probably won't get the same. Let me. I'll throw some food in there, but some of them get this big. It's their white. Oh wow. They're white um, Oh cool. And so, do you need a specific type of fish then for the aquaponics? No, I think any kind of fish, but tilapia is one of the. Um, it, it's hard to kill tilapia. Sometimes they don't come up when they're people they're not familiar with. Oh there, oh there. And I don't know if you can see them really well, but oh, I, have, wow, I have white, and, I have white and gray to look. Yeah, they're big. And they multiply so fast. So. Do they? Do you have to take them out? I do, and um, someone's actually gonna come today to pick them up. So Ooh, I'm gonna have wow. to catch them and he's, he's catch them. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he's starting a system, and he's a sushi chef, and they're experimenting. I think with using tilapia for sushi. Awesome. So, so I trade. So we. Did, did I tell you? We don't know. No. We try not to exchange money. And I don't want to do commercial, so I give him fish or or lettuce and he gives me sushi. Because he's a sushi That's chef. so it's rad. Kind of fun. And yeah. we, we try not to put a value on things. Yeah. So it's just not... Just like gifts. Yeah, just yeah. gifts. Kind of like... Um, I got the idea from um, my friend who always goes to Burning Man. Yeah. Um, I, I've never been there, but I think it'd be a cool place to go. So why aquaponics instead of just a regular garden? Uh, because I got, I'm lazy. I, I'm lazy, and we had a regular garden. Actually, I, I, I hauled in a bunch of compost, dirt, and everything. we had a raised garden bed right there. But our water bill was so high. So with aquaponics, your water bill actually is reduced by about eighty percent. How? Wow. 
because the water just keeps cycling through and you only replace what the plants use and what's lost through evaporation. Whereas with, if you're watering uh, with a, a garden in the ground, you're losing a lot of water. From the time, from the minute you turn on your garden hose and you're walking to whatever and you're watering, it's a lot of water. So, so, sorry, I'm trying to ask questions that I think people will want to know. So, so there's no dirt. Nope. So how, I've always thought, oh, plants need dirt to grow, right? Okay. So how, oh. Oh. yeah, how does well, it work? Let me show you right. Just all the roots are just sucking up the nutrients through the... So is there soil in there? No, it's just directly in the water. It's just, oh, wow. A lot of plants will start in just water. Yeah. Yeah. The fish are so cute. And then the strawberries, but, uh, I, I, you know, I don't even know why, because I hardly even eat strawberries, but I just wanted it because it looks cool. I love but strawberries. If you, uh, yeah, you can pick it if some more. Oh, ready. I will. My wife says, so if you look underneath, there's no dirt. Just uh, Here's all the, you can see most of the roots right here. Yep. So the water's continuously flowing through? Yep. Through one pump, and then it pump. I just have a header up here where I spread the water up in four. Four chops. I was gonna try to do more chops, but I think four is enough. What would you recommend if someone was gonna start this? I'd say lettuce, because lettuce is the easiest. Okay. But we're, we're our family, we're sick of lettuce already, so, I want, <laughs> so we do kale and Chinese cabbage, and um, I think I have a couple of other plants in the front. Our watercress, we like water. Mm -hmm. And we water the um, other plants with aquaponics water. Wow! Look at that kale. So, yeah. Beautiful. It's so cute. It looks like a little tree. <laughs> are those, is that parsley or are those carrots? Them? Must be parsley. It's my wife's one. I don't know what she plants. So this is her area that I don't touch. <laughs> and the turtles get to eat all of our leftover veggies. And good. You know, there's a lot of people who start aquaponics and they have a really hard time because they can't... They're always changing their water. They don't understand that the bacteria in the water is it's what good. keeps it balanced and yeah. turns the um, waste into nitrates and then to or nit nitrites and then to nitrates and it, it's a cycle that I don't fully understand. So do you have to test it every week, every month or? I used to test it um, every almost every day when I first started because I was just afraid my fish were dying and I didn't understand it yet but um, now I hardly ever test because the fish or the plants will tell you if something's wrong. Oh. The leaves will start to yellow, the fish will be they won't be eating. Yep. Like a um, flora so. fauna whisperer. That's cool. <laughs> I can tell you, you can sense it. <laughs> um, are you guys allergic to nothing? Bees? No. Bees thing? Oh, but I'm terrified of bees, so. Okay, so as long as um, I have that chimney I made up there for the bees. Oh my the gosh, they're just literally out here? Yeah, so um, if they. If they They'll try to test you. They'll, they'll come and bump your face or oh. whatever sometimes. But if you Maybe try Maybe I'll stay back here. If you hit it, if you don't hit it, I don't want to say, I don't get stung or my wife doesn't get stung when we, when we walk past. Because I was going to open the closet for you and watch, watch. They've never stung me and watch me get stung on the, on the beach. As long as, if, if they come and close to you, don't try to slap them or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think they just test because every now and then they, they keep bumping me like this. Mm -hmm. And before when they used to hit them, then, then they, that's when they would, because they don't want to die. Right. The last, because once they sting, they're going to die. Yeah. They only, so check out the ceiling. See, look up there. That was, I did not put that there. They built it there. See it on the, on the ceiling? Yeah, for sure. But that thing is only about a few weeks old. The one on the ceiling. That's nuts. And then there's a uh, there's a couple of the hives in the boxes. How'd you get them in there originally? You you bought a colony or something? Yeah, I bought a colony from a, from a friend up in uh, from Maui Bees up in Peru. They have a bee farm. Pretty cute. Hi. Oh, that, that's my wife. My wife Bo. Yes, I'm Bo. So oh, she's a yeah, she's a nice. teacher, a third grade teacher. Cool. All of Laura's family's teachers. Oh, every really? single one, yeah. <laughs> oh really? Her mom just retired after 39 years. So she's a teacher. I heard your family, your whole family is a teacher or teachers. Oh really? So she's a. So she's third grade. Oh yeah, third grade. I teach. 
I set up the yard so I can have them, you know, like, kind of like how they graze cattle in different yeah. areas. So move them through. Move them through. So I have this gate, and I don't always want to when I open the gate with their tunnel. They go through and then they mow my lawn. They're my, I got rid of my lawnmower because they, go they do a good job. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the this is the big the bigger system. This one, the other system was about 450 gallons. This mm -hmm. one comes out to about 1,100 gallons. I have six containers all connected. And I just, I just always wanted to. I don't know. I always gotta add stuff on. Like someone gave me two containers. Well, first they gave me one container. So I added it on. Then someone else gave me another container and another one on Craigslist, and I keep adding. That's yeah. All I had six. Cool. But one pump runs it all. So basically the same as the other one except there's more there's more containers. So this is the lowest spot, one pump. This one pump right here. Uh, it's just a tiny pump. I don't know. So that that pump sends it up to the top here. And then from here it's gravity flow all the way down. Okay. The mint grows crazy in aquaponics. I always um but every four weeks, I post, I take a picture of this right here, and I post it on Craigslist for free. Because okay. I, I always have to get rid of them, because if I leave them in here, that's when the insects start nesting and they yep. get established. Yep. I don't want them to get established, so every four or five weeks, I get rid of everything and I start all over. I, am, I do my drip irrigation for the yard off of aquaponics water. So those two white pipes hanging over the edge, those are siphons, and they run through this red line. And then, see how it's dripping? So all of these get watered with cool. fish poop water. Yeah, yeah. My wife's always coming out here to get mint and onions. And I said, you know, I kind of always wanted to run my aquaponics in the house. So this actually runs through the house. You hear the water coming down? Yeah. It goes through the garden. It's connected to the 1100 gallon. That's awesome. So, oh, I'll show you this right here. Yep. So this big white pipe used to be connected to the entire system. So this is actually a current system. Because every time people come up to the house, they go, so what's the difference between hydroponics and aquaponics? Or which is better? And I got tired of explaining, so this way, this is a separate system and it feeds this gutter. That gutter there comes off of the aquaponics tank. So it's side by side and I used to have it where it was exactly the same plants on both sides. Yep. So you could really see, they make their own decisions. You yeah. want chemical water or natural water. Like this plant right here, here's a good example. This is Chinese, Chinese cabbage. Mm -hmm. And so is that Chinese cabbage. The ages are different, but it Just doesn't do well in this in this mixture of hydroponics because this one is mainly for tomatoes. Yeah, I, I did the mixture specifically for tomatoes, um, but the tomatoes are doing pretty good. And and not not everything will do well in aquaponics. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is that why you have some things in dirt? Yeah, I I think yeah kale doesn't do the kale we have back there. Mm -hmm. We tried it. it; it doesn't get as nice as that. But this kale. I think, is this kale? I think this is kale. Bo, is this kale? Chinese kale, yeah. So that kale does really well. Yeah, well. So, if someone watches this video, what would you most want to tell people? Or like, maybe about aquaponics, maybe it's about you and your trip or life or just... I encourage almost everybody to try um, aquaponics because, especially in Hawaii, if you know, if you understand when vegetables and fruits are picked, it tastes way better if you pick it and eat it within five minutes than yeah. like some of our fruits and vegetables in Hawaii. Been on a ship. It takes they pick it like two months ahead. Oh. Some crazy thing. They put in these oxygen um, free yeah. storage and then they ship it across the ocean. And even chickens and like self sustaining type yeah. chickens, honeybees and your own food. So many solar panels, awesome. Yeah, we have uh, I think we have forty four. 44 on the front on both sides. Wow. 
Um, but you know that solar panel, um, 44 solar panels, we charge two, two electric two Teslas, cars. Yeah. And we never turn off the air conditioning. Our bill is $20 a month. That's so crazy. It used to be like, well, I want to say six, 800 sometimes. To me, that was a no-brainer. Yeah. I think the whole world's going to go electric. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, so you should cool. go pick some strawberries. I, w- I would <laughs> love some strawberries. are my favorite, and they're so expensive here. Oh, you're already on it. Look at that. I got one for you. Yeah. And here's a nice and ripe one. Over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to put berries. Oh, oh, yeah, just throw them in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got kale. Would you like to try Chinese kale? Yes. We'll try everything. <laughs> so if the leaves are junk, you can cut them off and you can eat the stems. It's a good harvest today. Farmer's market. Hey, you go. See? <laughs> Have you tried pipinolas? Nope. What is that? It's a, it's a kind of squash. She told me I don't. I don't have to do all of that. What's your favorite way to eat it? Pretty color. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Oh, we already got. I already got a bunch of basil for you, babe. Did you? I smell like basil. A little shopping, you know. All right, we'll get out of your hair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, nice meeting you. All right. All right. Good to see you. Good to chat. Glad you messaged us. Yes, for sure. Thank you for the the gifts. All right, Alex. Goodbye. Good meeting you. Thank you for everything. Yes, for sure. All right. I'll be in touch. All right.